Hey guys, David here. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. I got a major crypto news flash for you with respect to USDC, where it's being halted on a number of exchanges due to this whole Silicon Valley Bank failure that happened just today. Now, here's an article right here that has literally come out within the last half hour as of this recording. Circle confirms 3.3 billion of USDC's cash reserves stuck at failed Silicon Valley Bank. And right down here, it's talking about stable coin issuer Circle said late Friday that 3.3 billion in cash deposits remained at Silicon Valley Bank. The lender, which was shut down earlier in the day by regulators after suffering a run on deposits, the sum represents 8% of the total reserves backing Circle's stablecoin USDC. Silicon Valley Bank was one of six banking partners where Circle held a part of the reserve assets banking its 40 billion USDC stablecoin. And so guys, Here's what really went down, and this is early in the day. Circle's USDC had endured $1 billion of net redemption since Silicon Valley Bank's shutdown. So Stablecoin Isher held an undisclosed amount at that time, which was around 7 p.m. Now we know it's the $3.3 billion. Right now, what we're looking at is, it, in fact, it says here, Circle's Internet Financials USDC Stablecoin saw some $1 billion in net redemptions since Friday morning when Silicon Valley Bank, one of Circle's banking partners, was shut down by regulators. Blockchain's transactions from crypto intelligence platform Nation show. According to Nation, Circle burned some $1.6 billion of USDC on Friday, taking out the tokens from circulation as investors redeemed dollars. Circle also minted new coins according to the circulation, but must much less than it destroyed. Subsequently, USDC's market capitalization fell to $42.4 billion from $43.5 billion on Friday, according to data from CoinMarketCap. USDC also depegged from the dollar, a sign to, of worry about the state of its reserves. Now guys, I had gotten a message and many, some of you other ones have gotten a message that are dealing with Caleb and Brown. And this is what they say. Dear valued client, we're emailing today to share information on overnight developments regarding the USDC stablecoin. Overnight, Silicon Valley Bank was shut down by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation and depositors may be affected. SBV's different from Silvergate, this is not Silvergate, happens to be one of six banks that hold collectively 25% of Circle's reserves. As Circle has not yet clarified the exact percentage of exposure, the potential range is ranges up to 25%, but unlikely to be the whole amount. Well, we've just reported that they have said it's 3.3 billion, which constitutes 8% of the reserves. It's saying here that based on the following information, we ask clients to reconsider their USDC holdings if they have exposure to USDC. At the time of writing, the price is slightly depegged and is currently trading at 99.1. Please email your broker as soon as possible if you wish to reassess your stablecoin position. We will endeavor to assist in any way we can. Other assets that may be impacted include BSU, BUSD as Binance conducts one-to-one -one automatic conversions of USDC deposits. Similarly, DAI may also be impacted as it is partially backed by USDC. And they're saying here, if you have any other questions or require assistance, please email your broker right away. So guys, this is a major deal in the crypto space. We know that USDC is the second largest stablecoin in this entire space. And right now, stablecoins have been actually a big, big focus of the SEC. And we're seeing that because of this collapse in this bank, that USDC has some exposure there, which could actually hurt the USDC ecosystem. So I want to get this information out to you, not wanting to cause a panic. It doesn't mean that they can't reevaluate and get it repegged to a dollar, but it's certainly something you need to be aware of. So I wanted to get that information out as soon as possible. Otherwise, guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and we'll touch base on Monday. And if there's other future developments coming out of this over the weekend, I'll try and get those out to you. So guys, have a great night and take care.